Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today we are going to be talking about Night Bitch by Rachel Yoder. But first, a word from our sponsor. Hey guys, it's JB Taylor here. I'm talking Unplugged. This is a post-apocalyptic sci-fi dystopian uh, story. It's about a woman named Zadiah Fernwood who discovers the world she's living in is a lie. It's a digital prison for the mind. And uh, you follow her in her efforts to escape. Um, it has a lot of twists and turns. I've been complimented on how well I've, I wrote the female characters, which is something you always want to hear. Um, lots of action, a lot of twists and turns. Um, it's just a fun, fun story. It, um, it's gotten a lot of good feedback. Um, three stars and up on Goodreads and Amazon. Um, lots of of people are enjoying it and um i think you will too so check it out the um audiobook is coming later this month so look for me on the channel again because i'll probably be promoting it too peace thank you jb taylor for sponsoring this video now on with the review okay so night bitch by rachel yoder is the story of a mother uh raising a little boy and she may or may not be turning into a dog. That is in the description, so that's not a spoiler. Um, the reason why I wanted to read this book was because it was semi-touted as a, a piece of feminist werewolf fiction, that kind of deal. It is not uh, werewolf fiction, so don't go into this expecting werewolf horror, I guess is my only, is my only disclaimer here. Um, the book is uh it's written in i, I want to bring this up because there i've spoken to a lot of you recently who don't like present tense and this book is written in present tense um it is written in such a manner as it feels almost like a fable um it, it feels like a fairy tale the way it is written the uh the woman in question is unnamed uh she's referred to as the mother until finally she calls well she doesn't call herself eh, i guess she does um until finally she's referred to as night bitch um and her husband is named uh the husband uh the the child is the boy and then there are very funny um i don't know what you want to call it, nicknames that she gives for people uh throughout the book uh, in fact, that was one of my favorite parts of the book was her interactions with the other mothers. Uh, now, as far as this being a piece of feminine uh, literature, uh, not feminine, sorry, feminist literature, I, I fully agree with that. It definitely dives into the inequality of the genders. Um, so sexes, e either one, I, I know they're not interchangeable. I'm just not sure which one to use here. Um, with with this one you get there is a sense of foreboding there's a sense of dread and before i go any farther i need to give you a content warning there is graphic and i mean graphic animal cruelty in this book involving uh, cats and rabbits so if those are any of your triggers then definitely definitely stay away from this one um the the entirety of the book like i said is full of dread it's it, I, I every single chapter I'm like well, what's gonna happen where is this gonna go especially after the animal cruelty there is a scene of animal cruelty that comes out of nowhere it's kind it's it's for, it's foreshadowed don't get me wrong but it is written in such a brutal stark way it, it I feel it comes out of nowhere um, I did expect something to happen to the animal um, I didn't expect it to be as gruesome as the rest of it and this is why and, and th this is this is important because the rest of the book up until that point feels more like a dark comedy um i laughed quite a bit i read this one to my wife shell over the course of about three or four days it's a very short book um very very easy to read um the writing is exceptional um if you know the, if you have a problem with present tense, you're going to struggle here because the book is written in present tense. Um, but I loved every aspect of it other than the animal cruelty. Was the animal cruelty needed? Yes, it was. But I do realize that that is a trigger for some people. Now, there's more to it. You can't just 
gloss over or skim over that the that part of the book. It's very important to the later stages of the book. Um, so I, I could give you a page number, but it's not really going to help you because after it happens, it is referenced over and over again. In fact, one time it is referenced in full detail once again. Um, I know I'm kind of harping on this, but I know how... Um, how problematic animal cruelty can be animal death murder any of that stuff torture any of that stuff and I want you guys to be aware um, what my wife said as soon as we got done was and I quote this is a powerful ass book every mother should read it now I can't speak to that so that's why I'm telling you her quote because I, I don't know because I'm not a mother I am a father um, and I saw little pieces of me in in her husband, uh, not all of it. I and mean, there's several different uh, scenes that I was like, "Oh, dude, you know, cool your jets." But uh, for the most part, you know, it's it's about a stay-at-home mom and the struggles with uh, being not not rewarded, but being validated and being appreciated. There are certain scenes like that. Um, where she's struggling with everything that she does. There is a strong theme of whether or not motherhood should be considered work, as in, you know, whether or not, you know, you um, a, a mother should go out and work and raise the kids and clean the house and all that stuff. Um, in my opinion, that's not right. It shouldn't be put up with, but I know several women deal with this, so it all rang true. Um, there's uh, there's another scene. The, okay, well, actually, I'm just... The ending. The last scene I want to talk about, because I, I risk going into spoiler territory with everything else, but the ending was so brilliantly done. I had no idea it was coming. It's not that it's a big twist or anything, um, but it's, it, it's one of those endings that it was so satisfying to see... And I kind of felt like it was a happy ending. And I don't normally like happy endings. That's why I'm bringing this up. Uh, because I do struggle with happy endings. Um, I don't know why. I don't know where that comes from. But I'm not I'm not too fond of the, you know, your atyp... Your, not atypical. Your typical fairy tale ending or any of that stuff. The happily ever afters don't do anything for me. But in this one, it felt like everything was good. I don't know. Maybe I missed something. Um, but I do think that... Uh, that the ending is a happy ending. That might be a spoiler for some people. Um, if it is, I apologize. But it, it certainly did not go where I thought it was going to, especially after the scene, the, the gruesome scene of animal cruelty. And there is some more at the end of the book. So like I said, you know, be aware, you know, cats and rabbits. Um, if you're an animal lover, period, uh, you need to be aware of these things. Now, I'm going to, I am personally, am going to give it four stars, um, and that's only because that scene really, really bothered me. I think it was not out of place, but I think it was far too graphic tonally for the rest of the book. And that's just my own subjective opinion. My wife, of course, is giving it five stars. She loved every single aspect of it. Um, I really want to hammer home how goddamn funny this book is. Uh, time and time again, the, the, the characters' reactions, the dialogue, the, all the interactions, everything. It is a hilarious book. And my wife said, uh, especially if you are a mother. Um, you know, it's, it's things that you think, things that you say, things that you do. Especially things that you think uh, that... Uh, that might make you sound like a horrible person to anybody else other than a parent. Um, things that go through your head may not be the best thoughts in the world, but damn it, those thoughts do appear. Um, and they I've had them myself. So sometimes kids just get on your nerves. And that's a lot of this book until finally she figures out her place in her own head um, and how she wants to be thought of, you know, whether it be mother artist um that's another thing she is an artist who has put her career on hold and doesn't think she'll ever get back to it because she is raising this little boy but that's all i have to say about night bitch um have you guys read it i would love to hear from anybody who's read this whether or not they loved it whether or not they hated it whether or not you felt meh about it but if you felt any of those things let me know why you felt that way. Give me some examples or explain yourself. If it's a spoiler, please tag it spoiler. But I want to have a discussion with you, especially if you hated it. 
If you hated it or felt meh, why'd you feel that way? Let's talk about it, okay? But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!